statement the views or opinions of the staff, management, or ownership of this station. It's time to get on the right path with Right Path Real Estate Radio with Jason Bible. Get the answer to your question that's keeping you from taking action and succeeding today. Get ready. The guide that will put your fears behind you is on the air now. Taking calls at 713-785-1817. Toll free 877-881-0271. Now here's your host, Jason Bible. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's Friday. Friday before Thanksgiving. I was sitting in my office eating my breakfast tacos this morning. Looked out at my watch. I was like, oh, we got a a radio show this morning. (laughs) I was busy. For those of y'all who are watching us on Facebook, I got uh, on Fridays is when we pay all, you know, pay all our people and and write all our checks. And if you guys see here, this is uh, this is about the right amount of checks. I can do the weight test. Is this? I don't know how many we got in here. Thirty or forty checks for this week uh, to send out to contractors, and mostly it's what it is for contractors for rehabs we're doing. And then um, <clears throat> I got a closing right here. We actually got the docs and everything a day early and. You know, I posted on um, our private Facebook group uh, the margin on it and the deal, and and uh, you know we talk about living in a twenty percent margin world. That's really the only way this business works, and we do it every single day. Um, it was kind of funny at the last weekend retreat. You know, the the weekend retreats are Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and. Um, Friday is when all the deals get closed, particularly the retail stuff. That's you know most homeowners that want to move into a house, they want to move in over the weekend. And title companies and mortgage companies typically, and usually it's the mortgage company, uh, but uh, typically all that stuff takes place at the end of the week. Uh, so especially with Thanksgiving being next week. So uh, <laughs> the last weekend retreat, I had to close four houses on stage. <laughs> uh, Mayor Bell's one of our transaction coordinator she runs in the back of the room and this is completely not staged this is exactly what our business looks like so maribel runs in uh and then i think she hands it to veronica veronica puts it up on stage uh and so i was like hey guys i gotta do this right now this isn't staged but it's like we this is when we got to sign these things and i thought i was going to be able to sign them on thursday or friday morning when i wasn't on stage but unfortunately just i happened to be on stage at the time that's when we got to close the deals and and uh, the way our company works is that Tom or I sign closing docs. We can we can do it. We don't have to have the other one to sign uh, for the for the deal. But the problem is is that you have to put a name on there. So what ends up happening is if I'm not available, then they have to redo docs uh, to close the deal. So in any case, I I wasn't going to have them do that. Just just take you know four or five minutes there on the stage and and close four houses. I think we bought three and sold one, or we sold. One and bought three, I can't remember. But um, in any case, so I got a pile of these to do during the break. You know, <clears throat> last couple of days, you know, we were at a real estate, Tom and I were at a real estate event Wednesday night. Uh, I was at a couple of events and get togethers. Uh, some of it was uh, for possible uh, business ventures outside of real estate. I had that meeting on Tuesday. And then uh, Monday, I had a meeting. I can't remember what it was after, after work, six, seven o'clock in the evening. And one of the things I want to talk about today is markets, marketing, and lies people believe. And I'll tell you why this is important. We have our idea about what a market is. And I don't care. This, this is something that it's 100% applicable to real estate, but it's also applicable to every business out there. It just just about everything out there. And that is and, and you'll see this commercial or this comment come up from time to time. Well, Jason, are there markets that you can get into that are less competitive than other markets? And I don't think that's true anymore. I don't think there's a single non-competitive market out there. So I'm going to say, well, you know, my market, you know, I'm not getting as many deals or I'm not getting the results I want because my market's less competitive than your market is, or my market's more competitive than yours is. In a couple of weeks here, I think about two weeks, I'll be at a national conference in Vegas, and there'll be 4,000 
real estate investors there. Uh, and I've, I've got the opportunity to speak uh, on a panel in front of those folks for about an hour. And one of the, one of the, under, uh, the, one of the um, themes I always see at these events is, well, you know, I bought one house two years ago, but I just haven't been able to buy another one because my market's too competitive. And the reality is it's not that your market is too competitive. The reality is, is that your marketing and sales process is not competitive in your market. But the idea that if you just switched markets that all of a sudden you'd be successful just doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't translate. The second lie people tell each other as it relates to marketing and that is, hey, hey, Jason, hey, look, I just need a deal. Like, I just need some deals. And once I get these couple of deals, then I'm going to be off to the races, right? I, I'm going to do these couple of deals, and then, and then I'll be able to spend a whole bunch more money on marketing. I'll be able to hire people and bring people on board and do this thing and do that and, and just be the super successful person. But the reality is, is that that's not how this business works, Will you get lucky and, and nail one every now and then? Sure. But to build a scalable business out of that just doesn't work. Oh, but what is your, this is my favorite question of all time. Jason, what is your most effective marketing program? If I had a most effective marketing program, that's the only one I'd do. Like that would literally be the one thing that I did and that's it. The problem is there's no most effective marketing program. In fact, here's, here's the lies that people believe. People believe that in this business, if you do one thing, you immediately get the next result. The reality is, is that our sales cycle in this business is three to six months. What does that mean? That means by the time I get a property under contract to the time I start, oh, actually, I shouldn't say by the time I get it under contract, by the time I start looking for properties to the time I actually realize revenue, have cash coming in my pocket, it's about three to six months. Now, are there stories of people doing it faster than that? Absolutely. And those are the people that you'll see at your local RIA or that fly in from one of these national kind of out-of-town gurus, and they put those people on stage. There's a, there's a guy here, and I've told this story before, that sent out 200 yellow letters and made, I don't know what it was, $100,000, $150,000 on his first wholesale deal. Literally walks in the house, locks it up with a contract, sells it that, that next week, puts 150 Gs in his pocket for a $200 investment. That guy is no longer in business. I have not seen that guy in like two years. And it's not because he's out there doing a bunch of deals and I don't know about it. Because the guy loved the state. He was a part of all these different uh, real estate education groups here in Houston. And must have gotten drug up on stage in every single one of them for like eight months straight. The problem is he had such outsized success such extraordinary success on his first deal that once he figured out that he couldn't replicate that same level of success, just got out of real estate. That's the reality of this business. This is not, I want to make sure everybody's on board. We're adding hundreds, if not thousands of people a day to this show. I know that's happening because I can see it on Facebook. We're adding our, I was looking at some of our stats the other day. We have over a thousand people a day that just watch our videos in a 24 hour period. It's a thousand a day just on Facebook. I don't know how many tens of thousands listen to our radio show, and I have no idea how many people listen online when they share the link to our live broadcast. Across, I mean, I've had folks contact me internationally at this point. This show is growing incredibly fast. And I want to make sure that with all the new people here, we have a little reality check. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not. This is not some, some seminar where we're going to get you all pumped up, and then you're going to go out and conquer the world and make $10 million in your first year. 
That's just not realistic. Can it happen? Sure. But it's not realistic. If you're somebody who's looking to make a million dollars in the next six months, not realistic. <clears throat> this is a three, <clears throat> a three to five year plan. You know, if you think about it, one of the reasons that we started this radio show six, seven months ago, or I guess, no, we're at eight months now. Eight months ago was so that we could share our journey with y'all while we're on the journey. So many of these real estate gurus, you know, the last single family house they bought was 25 years ago, and they're already fantastically wealthy. Hey, that's great, but would have, would have loved to hear from you while you were struggling through the day-to-day -day of building your business. I mean, our, our uh, company, the first company we started in real estate, Houston House Buyers, is a little over three years old. We're in that three to five year window right now. One minute. And this is a three to five year journey. And there's two reasons we started this. Well, I guess you really say there's three reasons we started this radio show. One is to dispel the myths of real estate. It's this get rich quick, you know, late night infomercial. You're going to be a billionaire. Actually, now it's not even late night infomercials. It's the stuff I get on YouTube. I see these videos on YouTube from these real estate educators, and it's a total pipe dream. Second reason we started the show, we wanted to share our struggles in our business and teach you not to do those same things in real time while they're happening in our business. And the third reason we started this show is because we were asked to participate in all these different groups. And we thought, why don't we just do a radio show so we can share with everybody how to, make, how to be successful in this business. We get back from the break, we'll talk more about real estate this is Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Mic's off. All right, here we Join go. Join a group of hardworking investors willing to share their knowledge and experience with others. We're not just another guru-driven club. We're a community of Houston's most successful real estate investors. Discover more at richradio.org. The Realty Investment Club of Houston, the Rich Club, has taught more real estate investors than any other program in the state. Join the Rich Club and become part of the most informed community in Houston. Quickly discover your investment options. Receive the information you need to get started. Learn what it takes to avoid the pitfalls of real estate investment. You have questions? We have answers. If you're considering investments in Houston's real estate, then richradio.org is the quickest way to join the community and learn how to make money in today's market. Learn more about the education and community at richradio.org. Join our community to learn what it takes to make money in Houston. Visit richradio.org. That's richradio.org. Real estate investors, if you're not familiar with Quest IRA, let me tell you what you're missing. We've got free weekly educational classes, networking opportunities, and the ability to tap into trillions of dollars for your real estate investing deals. Come by our office or join us remotely as we simulcast all of our educational classes every Tuesday morning and evening. For more information, call us at one 855 fun IRAs or visit our website at questira.com. Are you looking for an investor-friendly general contractor for your investment property? Then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832-742-9992 or reach us on the web at fasttrackremodeling.com. Fast Track Remodeling specializes in turnkey remodeling of single-family investment properties, whether it's a flip, rehab, or a rental rehab. No more managing it yourself. No more doing the work yourself. Fast Track Remodeling really does manage it all. So give us a call today at 832-742-9992. Investor loans offering up to 100% financing are still available. You just have to know where to look. Look no further than Noble Mortgage. Noble Mortgage is a full-service mortgage company that's been helping investors since 2003. Noble Mortgage offers up to 100% financing to investors that covers purchase, repairs, and closing costs. In addition to private money, Noble Mortgage offers conventional loans, FHA, and even no-income documentation loans for both residential and commercial properties. Call and ask about our five-point guarantee, which includes free pre-qualifications within two business days. Call 713-680-8100 
or visit noblemoney.com. That's noblemoney.com. Our team has over 50 years experience in the mortgage industry. Call us today, 713-680-8100 or visit us on the web, noblemoney.com, noblemoney.com. NMLS 292143, 8203 Willow Place Drive, Houston, Texas, 77070. Have you racked up more than $10,000 in credit card debt? Are you barely getting by, making minimum payments? You should know. The credit card companies are tricking you into thinking there's no way out. Credit card companies would rather you didn't know that there are ways you can become (laughs) debt-free and you don't have to pay the entire amount you owe. There are debt relief programs that help. I really want to buy a house with a credit card. Overwhelming credit card debt. (laughs) National debt relief has helped tens of thousands of people just like you. All these stories from guys in the eighties that would borrow credit cards so many people. uh, And then they would like with cash advances and stuff, and then would buy a house, and then when they'd sell the house, they'd pay off the credit card. You have the right to I've never heard of that before. Oh man, it was wild. And actually, I know a guy who did it in two thousand. National Debt Relief uh, at 10, I think? But his strategy was getting like these little lines of credit stuff. And he's like, he keeps telling me, he's like, Jason, man, I'd love to teach you out in your class. And I'm like, you had to do it first, then you could teach it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, stand by, Jay. Hot mics in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back. Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. If you've got questions about finding, funding, Deals, marketing for deals, rental properties, wholesaling, flipping. Our number is 713-785-1817. Question I got yesterday on uh, Facebook. Hey, Jason, how do you guys predict where the market is going? And I've got to be honest with you. We predict like macro trends. For example, we predicted the, the slowdown in the higher-end market in Houston. And <clears throat> the stuff that we use to predict some of these things, about as accurate as we can get is within about six months. I mean, it's not like it's real accurate. We just know that we, we just get this uneasy, kind of queasy feeling, hey, we shouldn't be doing this anymore. We shouldn't be in this market anymore. Part of it has to do with the network we're involved in. I mean, we've got our hands in so many different investors and in in, uh, private money lenders. So we've got exposure, if you will, to a lot of things that go on in this market. So really, we just got a lot of contacts. We see a lot of deals that are getting done. Uh, But we also get this just funny feeling when we look at macroeconomic data and how it relates to what's going on in certain submarkets. So for example, how we figure this out in a submarket is we look at what are the list price of properties. In other words, what are they being offered for sale for? What are houses being sold for? What are they closing at? So for example, if a house <coughs> if a house was listed for $120,000 and it's sold for 100 and we see enough of those we could say that that is a declining market. Offered for 120, sold for 100. If we see a number of houses that were being offered for 100 and being sold for 120, and we saw that trend uh, in, a, in a certain number of houses over a certain period of time, we'd say that's an appreciating market. Then we also, what's no, uh, also look at what's known as days on market. How long did it take to sell? And for those of y'all who are landlords, you can use the same formulas. You look at rents. How long was that property offered for lease on MLS? What did that starting, what did that lease start out at? $1,300 a month, $1,400 a month. And where did it actually close at? So if you're offering a property for $1,300 a month, and it rented for 14 it appreciated essentially $100, meaning rents are increasing. Rental property is also a lot easier to look at what's going on in that market. You go back a whole year. So instead of flip properties where you're looking at these small windows, three, four, five months, 
Rental properties, you have the luxury of going back and looking at data that's a year old. What were the rents a year ago? What are rents today? And you can figure out what that trend is. Are, are prices appreciating or depreciating? That's our acute analysis of what's going on in the market. Acute meaning right now. Our chronic, if you will, our longer term analysis is when we look at some of the macroeconomic economic data. In uh, January of 2017, I'll be uh, on a panel. Tom and I will be on a panel uh, to talk about what's going on in 2017. What's the economic forecast for 2017? It's a joint event we're doing with Noble Mortgage. And at that event, I could tell you one thing I'm probably going to discuss the entire time. And it's something that I have not discussed at any other event to date. And it is a, a macro indicator of where the market is going. And I'm not going to talk about it now. I will talk about it at that event because I need one more month's worth of data before, before we can make our analysis. But it's going to be two data points measured over a five-year trend. And it'll tell us exactly what's going on in the Houston market. So when you look at should I invest in a market or should I not? My answer is always yes. And I get a really confused look. What do you mean yes? Should I invest or should I not? Yes. Well, well, that's not an answer. I mean, should, should I invest in these deals or should I not? Yes. Yes, you should. There are people that only buy assets every 20 years. I know some very successful real estate investors, they buy every 20 years. They buy on that super cycle. In Houston, that was in the 80s. The last, the, the one before the, before the last cycle was in the 80s. Credit markets crashed, oil crashed, and they went in and bought a ton of real estate. And then they enjoyed the cash flow. They enjoyed the appreciation for those properties for almost 20 years. And then it happened again in 2008. And they went and bought everything they could. So there are some investors out there that invest every 20 years. There are other investors that invest every two days. Guys like us buying houses every single day. At least try to buy houses every day. Buying houses every week. So should I, is now the right time to buy or should I wait? Yes. <clears throat> well, what, do you, what do you mean yes? You can wait and find good deals or you can buy good deals today. Well, what should I do? Should I buy now or should I wait? Yes. That's what you should do. It all goes back to what is it that you're trying to accomplish? And I started the show with lies that people believe about markets and marketing. And they believe this lie that there's an absolute perfect time to invest. And nothing could be further from the truth. I have, uh, I've had an opportunity to speak at a number of Quest IRA events and... In the last two events, I shared with uh, some folks in the room my thoughts on what makes, uh, what makes private money lending a real challenge and investing in real estate a real challenge. And that is people waiting for the perfect deal. Oh, I'm going to wait for the perfect deal that gives me $500 a month in cash flow, and I am no money out of pocket... And I'm going to do a hundred of those over the next five years. No, you're not. <laughs> I can tell you right now. No, you're not. Well, I'm just, that's the deal I'm waiting for. You might find one this year or you might want find one next year. But you're looking for something that's so perfect, it's, it's going to be really hard to find. Are they out there? Sure. Sure, they're out there. You look at a market like Houston, there are about 10,000 houses a month that get sold on and off MLS. 
somewhere between 100 and 120,000 houses a year change hands on and off the market. 120, 100 to 120,000. And when you are looking for that proverbial needle, needle in a haystack, it might be one, two, three houses out of 100,000. At 120,000. I'd have to look and see what the odds are of winning the lottery, but it starts to approach that number. You're looking for something that's so impossible to find. And it's those lies that we tell ourselves. Oh, the market's too competitive. Oh, I, you know, what's that one marketing trick? I get that message on Facebook all the time. Jason, what's that one marketing trick that I can get an infinite number of deals that come into my email box? There isn't one. And then they'll message me over and over and over again. Come on, Jason, what's the trick? What's that one trick? There's no trick, dude. You have been brainwashed. You've been absolutely lied to. There's no one trick. There's no one trick to any of this. I wouldn't call this a trick. I'd call it a law. There's a law in business, and it's the same law that applies in life, and that's consistency. Go back eight months ago, listen to our first radio show, and listen to this one today. Probably sounds a lot better, a lot better, because it's consistency that's gotten us better. Hey, Jason, how can you, uh, I mean, I, I want to I build a, hou uh, a house buying company that buys 70, 80 houses a year like you guys did with just me and a business partner. Not going to happen. You got to build a team and you got to get on it right now. In fact, for us to buy 67 houses in our first year, we started the previous July. It was six months of ramping up, six months, 80, 90, 100 hour weeks. One minute. Success is not quick. It doesn't happen over a month. In fact, if you show me an overnight success, with exception to lottery winners, I'll show you somebody who spent 10, 15 years building something. If you want to give us a call, the number 713 785-1817. We've done almost 300 deals at this point. Would love to get stumped. 713-785-1817. This is Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Mic's off. Are you expecting to close accurately, on time, and with lots of communication on your home purchase? You've come to the right place. I'm Jennifer Hernandez, Senior Loan Officer with Legacy Mutual Mortgage. Our goal is to give our borrowers and referral partners an amazing experience during the loan process. My team believes in putting people and culture before results. Our company concentrates on building those teams who go. operate with structure, process, and recognition for going the extra mile for you. This way, we have the energy to make this your best home purchase ever. Give us a call today to find out the simple steps to get started. I'm Jennifer Hernandez, the Hernandez team at Legacy Mutual Mortgage. Jennifer.LegacyMutual.com or call 713-579-3611. Again, Jennifer.LegacyMutual.com. We can't wait to consult with you soon. NMLS 514497. Equal Housing Opportunity Lender. NMLS 514497. Did you know that there are over $24 trillion in retirement accounts in the U.S.? Imagine if you could use someone's IRA to fund all of your deals. Well, you can. Quest IRA is based locally here in Houston, Texas. At Quest IRA, we offer retirement accounts that can be used to invest in real estate, promissory notes, private entities, and much more. Many of our clients loan money from their IRAs to fund real estate deals all over the country. We don't sell any investments or give advice. However, we do hold free networking events, weekly educational classes, and free consultations with an IRA specialist. For more information, visit our website at questira.com or call us at 1-855-FUN-IRAs. 
to tap into the $24 trillion in retirement accounts in the U.S., call Quest IRA at 1-855-FUN-IRAs or go to our website, questira.com. Politics is big business. In fact, it's the biggest business of all. And it directly affects every business in this country. Tune in to your afternoon drive each weekday at 5, where we discuss news and politics that impact us right here in the Bayou City. Remember the afternoon drive with me, Chris Blaney. Weekdays at 5, right here on Business 1110 KTEK. If you're using drugs or are addicted to pills or alcohol, you need help. You know that your addiction is harming your life, your job opportunities, and most importantly, your loved ones. That's where we come in. The Kick Addiction Network specializes in getting you the help you need to beat addiction. Our network of treatment specialists can help you get clean and have the experience and track records to show for it. And if you're struggling with addiction and have private insurance, your help may be fully covered. Give us a call 24-7 at 1-800-KICK-ADDICTION. That's 1-800-KICK-ADDICTION. The Realty Investment Club of Houston has taught more real estate investors than One any minute. other program in the state. Come check us out at richradio.org. If you're considering learning how to invest in real estate, <laughs> then richradio.org is the quickest way to learn how to make money in the Houston market. We're not just another guru-driven club. We're a community of Houston's most successful real estate investors. Join our community to learn what it takes to make money in Houston. Visit richradio.org. That's R-I-C-H, radio.org. Rehab loans, conventional loans, FHA, and no-income documentation loans can seem scary unless you have the right mortgage company to guide you through the process. Since 2003, Noble Mortgage has been helping investors just like you. Whether rehabbing houses, buying your first home, rental, or commercial property, Noble Mortgage offers up to 100% financing. Call Noble Mortgage at 713-680-8100 or visit noblemoney.com. That's noblemoney.com. NMLS 292143, 8203 Willow Place Drive, Houston, Texas. All right, 77070. Okay. This is business. 1110. Here we go. Welcome back. Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Give me a call. I'm just sitting up here in the studio hanging out. I've actually got some documents to sign here. Number 713-785-1817. We're talking about markets, marketing, and lies people believe. Just blows me away that in our society that building a business is a, hey, what's that one trick? What's that one little bit of magic that it takes to just get all the unlimited amount of deals that I I can't handle? And that's not how this works. <clears throat> That's not how anything in life works. It really doesn't. There's not one simple trick. There's one law, and that's consistency over time. Doing it every single day. What I think, where I think the real magic in our mastermind group is, we meet on Monday nights twice a month, and then uh, anytime they want to meet with Tom and I, they schedule time, we sit down. On Monday, I spent six hours with mastermind folks, just helping them set up marketing programs, uh, setting up, helping them set up some of their sales processes. Where the real magic in our mastermind program is, is the accountability. When you're sitting there on a Monday night and we're going around the room, so we keep this group real small, it's less than 20 people in the group. That way we can, we can have a very open discussion what have you done the last 14 days? What have you done the last 14 days? And I'll tell you, when you've got 20 people, plus Tom and I, so you know, uh, 21 people staring back at you, expecting to hear all the great things that you've done every single day for 14 days to further your business, and you come up with a big goose egg, that is really really convicting. You said you wanted to do this real estate thing. You want to flip houses. You want to be a wholesaler. You want to add rental properties to your buy and hold portfolio. You want to expose your personal wealth to real estate through private money lending, lending to real estate investors. 
you know, how much marketing did you do? How many events did you go to? How many offers did you make? How many deals did you contract? How many deals did you close? The numbers are everything. I don't know if I've told this story on the radio before, but when you look at my career before I got into real estate, my job came down to one thing, putting numbers in boxes. That is literally what I did for 15 years. Put numbers in boxes. Because, and what do the numbers tell you? What do the numbers, what does a number in a box tell you? It tells you everything you need to know about how your business is running. You can't put numbers in a box. You don't own a business. You really don't. I hear all these folks talk about how, you know, real estate's a numbers game. And they think the numbers relate to the deal. They think the numbers are cash flow, ARV, rehab, ROI, which is a terrible metric, but ROI, margin, none of those numbers matter. The only number that matters is the performance of your business. The second number that matters is what are you doing to get those results? You've got activities and you've got results. If you can't put numbers in a box for those two things, you don't have a business. In fact, those of you who are still working in the, in the W-2 world, if you want to become an invaluable employee, someone they literally cannot fire, <clears throat> I kid you not, every single job I worked, they couldn't fire me. It was impossible. And I couldn't get outsourced or downsized or rifted or whatever they're calling a drawdown in force. <clears throat> it was impossible because I was the guy that could sit down and say, we do these activities, we get this result. Here are the activities we did for this month. Here's the results we got. And if we didn't get those results, we could go in and change of our, our activities and then get a different result. It's actually called a double loop learning process. We talk about this in our weekend retreat. Doing the real estate deal is mindlessly simple. It is. Putting a house under contract. Now, your first time, it's not. Don't get me wrong. First time, it's scary. Like riding a bike. First couple of times, it's scary. And after that, it's easy. You know, it's amazing. Learning how to ride a bike, once you've learned how to ride a bike, it's no big deal. <clears throat> now, the next thing you've got to do is now learn how to ride the bike faster. That's really all we do in Right Path Real Estate. We teach some people to ride a bike and then we teach some people to ride faster, much faster. And then if they're really on top of their game, they don't even have to ride the bike anymore. It pedals itself. That's where the real trick in this business is. When I hear people talk about passive income and real estate, what they fail to realize is you can passively, almost passively, run multiple businesses. That's where the real magic is. And you can do that in any business. But you've got to be able to figure out what are the activities I have to do to get the results that I want. And that's why there's no one magic market. There's not a magic marketing program. Those are lies we believe because our mindset is lazy. That's really what it is. Hey, Jason, how do I get the biggest result, the biggest result with doing the least amount of work? Now, some people would argue, well, that's a really great business strategy. I mean, don't you want to do the 20% do the that makes you the 80? Yeah, absolutely. 
But that 20% that produces that 80% result is a massive amount of work. It really is. In fact, the hard part is to keep the 80% of the stuff that doesn't produce that 80% out of your 20. One of the jokes I had uh, <laughs> about running a business is that if I could spend 50% of my time actually working on the business, we'd be light years ahead. <clears throat> but the reality is you can only really spend about 20% of your time doing certain things to get about 80% of your results. That's just one of those laws of life. But I'll tell you, you can build just about whatever life you want. In our mastermind group, the second thing that makes it <clears throat> so magical is we have a really honest discussion with folks. And we sit down and we say, all right, what is it that you want? Now, you'll get a lot of people that brush off and say, well, I want six houses a year. Or I want to buy 20. And that's not what I'm asking. What are we trying to get to? The reason we named this company Right Path Real Estate is because so many people don't even know what the path is they need to take. They go to all these real estate gurus in their hometown or somebody that flies in from out of, out of state or out of city and gives them a map, gives them a plan, gives them something, and they try to apply that template to where they want to go, and it doesn't work. The amount of people that come to us who spent tens of thousands of dollars on real estate education is amazing because they realize after they spent all that money that nobody sat down with them and said, hey, where are you trying to go? Then let's build a plan to meet that goal. Two minutes. No one ever has that discussion with them. And if you don't sit down with somebody that can help you get that right in your mind and then assist you in implementing that strategy in your business, you're never going to be successful. Guaranteed. 100% failure rate. You've got to know where you want to go. You want to go on vacation because it's hot here in Houston. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Anywhere but Houston. There's a whole lot of anywhere but Houston's that I sure as heck would never want to be. There are a whole lot of places I'd rather, I'd rather be right here than a whole lot of other places. <clears throat> but that's what a lot of folks buy into. What's that one trick? What's that one market? What's that one marketing thing I can do? What are these lies I can believe to get me out of the current situation that I'm in. But what they don't realize is if they don't plan for that destination, they'll never get there. I get emails all the time. Hey, Jason, does your, crew, does your group teach rehabbing? Yeah, we teach rehabbing. It's part of the business. Well, you guys are flippers then. No, we're business owners. We own a couple of real estate businesses. We're building these businesses to do a certain thing for us in our lives. That's what we're doing. We don't necessarily have a huge passion for real estate because it's real estate. We're trying to get somewhere in our lives. This is Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Mic's off. Are you a realtor or seller that is concerned about the new TRID rules and closing on time? Mm -hmm. I'm Jennifer Hernandez, Senior Loan Officer at Legacy Mutual Mortgage, and we have mastered the 30-day close. We close on time, accurately, and with tons of communication. You'll have a dedicated team of a coordinator and a contract-to-close associate. Give me a call today at 713-579-3611, and let's talk about how we can help you on your next transaction. Equal Housing Opportunity Lender, NMLS 514497. Are you looking for an investor-friendly general contractor for your investment property? Then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832-742-9992 or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. 
Fast Track Remodeling specializes in turnkey remodeling of single-family investment properties, whether it's a flip rehab or a rental rehab. We manage every aspect of a rehab from start to finish with a highly efficient standardized process. Over the last five years, Fast Track has completed over 500 projects, which has helped us create our three keys to success. Use a detailed scope of work so that everything gets done. Train and maintain quality crews so it gets done right. And complete the work in a proper order so it gets done fast. No more managing it yourself. No more doing the work yourself. Fast Track Remodeling really does manage it all. So give us a call today at 832-742-9992. Again, that's 832 832- 742-9992 or on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Real estate investors, if you're not familiar with Quest IRA, let me tell you what you're missing. We've got free weekly educational classes, networking opportunities, and the ability to tap into trillions of dollars for your real estate investing deals. Come by our office or join us remotely as we simulcast all of our educational classes every Tuesday morning and evening. For more information, Call us at 1-855-FUN-IRAs or visit our website at questira.com. The Realty Investment Club of Houston has taught more real estate investors than any other program in the state. Come check us out at richradio.org. If you're considering learning how to invest in real estate, then richradio.org is the quickest way to learn how to make money in the Houston market. We're not just another guru-driven club. We're a community of Houston's most successful real estate investors. Join our community to learn what it takes to make money in Houston. Visit richradio.org. That's R-I-C-H, radio.org. This is Roger Michelski from Eagle Financial Publications. Are you a dividend investor? If so, let me tell you about a website that has just about every resource that a dividend investor could ask for. It's called DividendInvestor.com. We just launched a new and improved version of it, and there's nothing else like it. When you log on to DividendInvestor.com, you'll find screening tools plus an all-star ranking system to help you find the best dividend opportunities. There's a scorecard to track the dividends in your very own portfolio, plus time-sensitive updates so you'll be the first to know when dividends go up or go down and so many other features. Be my guest. Log on for free today at DividendInvestor.com. One minute. Set up a portfolio and see how easy it is to work the dividend calculator. And be sure to take the website tour to discover all the other great benefits. I'm convinced DividendInvestor.com will pay dividends to your bottom line. Go to DividendInvestor.com now. DividendInvestor.com. Rehab loans, conventional loans, FHA, and no-income documentation loans can seem scary unless you have the right mortgage company to guide you through the process. Since 2003, Noble Mortgage has been helping investors just like you. Whether rehabbing houses, buying your first home, rental, or commercial property, Noble Mortgage offers up to 100% financing. Call Noble Mortgage at 713-680-8100 or visit noblemoney.com. That's noblemoney.com. NMLS 292143. 8203 Willow Place Drive, Houston, Seven seven zero seven. All right, hot mics this and five, is business. four, 11, 10. three, two, one. Welcome back, <clears throat> Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Today we're talking about markets, marketing, and lies people believe. There is no one source of unlimited well of deals. All right, let me see. Actually, I've got a question here. Uh, let's see. You stated you need between three to five to do a deal, three to five k to do a deal, or sixty hours of work. Would those out? How would those hours be used most effectively? That really depends on what you're trying to do. You only have a limited amount of resources. Even if you had, somebody had asked me one one time. They said, "Hey, if you guys had like a private equity group and came in that gave you like a million dollars when you first started out, you know, would you have been able to grow? You, I, I, their assumption is we would have been able to grow faster, build a bigger business." Reality is, is not really. I mean, we were we were moving about as fast as we can. There's there's um there you can only move as <clears throat> as fast as the market's willing to let you to a certain extent. Uh, in particular, with these hard assets. I mean, if I had, I, I'll give you a good example. If you guys look at a lot of uh, the hedge funds, uh, other sorts of funds that are invested here in Texas in single family real estate. They'll go out and buy, let's say they go out and buy 150 houses across the state. They got, I don't know, quarter of a billion, half a billion dollars 
in liquidity and they're going out with cash and going to auction and working with a couple of agents and buying 150, 200 houses a month. Reality is, is they can't get enough contractors to finish their houses on time. They can't get enough leasing agents to lease them up fast enough before the next set, <clears throat> before the next group of 150 to 200 houses is in their portfolio. It's just the reality. They're just, I mean, you can't buy there. There's an operational reality where you just can't buy houses that fast. I mean, you can, the transaction piece doesn't take long. It's the operation side. It's getting them fixed up. It's getting them back on the market. It's leasing them up or it's selling them. And it, and it just doesn't happen that quickly. Again, it's one of the reasons, even if you have unlimited capital, that's one of the reasons why it takes three to six months to really realize the revenue from these things. I mean, even as a landlord, you get a deal today, you know, it takes a month, six, <coughs> six or eight weeks. <coughs> it takes six or eight weeks to get the house finished while at the same time you're marketing for a tenant and another three to four weeks to get a tenant to move in. I mean, still, you're pretty close to three months. So two minutes, uh, even in wholesaling, a lot of times in wholesaling, it's, hey, you've got a market for the deal. You finally get it under contract. You send it out to a couple of investor buyers and then an investor has time to close on it. I mean, you can do a, you can do deals inside of three months and we've had our mastermind participants do that inside of three months. But from a planning standpoint, it's just not practical. So our standard answer is takes three to six months. But, but again, to go back to the question, hey, where would you spend your marketing time and mar marketing dollars for it to be most effective? It, it totally depends on what you're trying to do. It really does. I mean, I, we've got some people in our mastermind group that want to do owner finance. And typically those houses have an ARV below $75,000. We have some people that want to do higher end flips. You know, flip houses between four hundred and six hundred thousand dollars. They're going to do something entirely different. So, you've it's it's not a one minute. It's not an easy. It's not an easy. Hey, just go do this, and you're going to be really successful. The market is way too competitive, and it's way too sophisticated to build a plan like that. Thanks for listening, guys. We're going to have a show Monday and Tuesday. So I'll see you guys Monday. This is Jason Bible. Right Path Real Estate. Mike's off. You've been All right. To right Path I'll see you Monday. Um, uh -huh. You know, if you guys Tom are... Right Did you tell them what show you wanted to do you for Thanksgiving? Behind you and uh, just like any random Friday show works for me. Okay, I'll, I'll tell them that, that then. Okay, cool. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, thanks. All right, bye.